Hello guys, how are you all? Hope so you are fine. Today our topic is IELTS speaking part 1. I will explain each and everything so stay tuned till last. You will get benefit from this video guaranteed. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, we are talking about that part 1 is the friendly discussion. between candidate and examiner it is a friendly discussion examiner will ask you a lot of questions about your daily routine about your likes dislikes your hobbies a lot of topics and it cannot explain in this video one by one so there will be a lot of topic and there will be one to two topic that examiner will ask you a question and it can be about your family hometown it can be your friends etc so the topics will be related to you your personal life you can see so let's move ahead so examiner will ask you some basic questions some easy questions for example we are going to take one topic for example we are going to take hobby first of all when you will enter in the room so examiner will greet you and he will ask you about your name your identification uh, it, it will be your passport or your id card so after clearing your identification examiner will start your IELTS speaking and part one will be the first one first of all examiner will ask you are you a student or do you work so you will explain then in just one line that you are student or you do some kind of work so then next moving forward examiner will ask you about your if you will say that i'm a student so most definitely examiner will ask about your student life but if you will say that i do work somewhere so examiner will ask you about your professional working field or examiner it is up to you that examiner will change it to any topics so we are going to start from hobby that examiner will ask you just simple question that what is your hobby or examiner will tell it in words that what do you do in your free time so then you will explain and how you will explain keep in mind that give direct answer direct answer what do you do in your free time so you will answer directly that in my free time in my free time blah 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 next it is up to you and every person has its own answer so in this way you will answer the question and you will answer directly okay so the next question will be about related to your hobby that why do you like playing cricket for example you are mentioning that the playing cricket is my hobby and i love playing cricket in afternoon uh, in the playground which is very near to my house that's it it is enough answer that examiners asking you that what do you do in your free times you're answering that you play cricket whenever you get free time it can be your okay so then examiner will ask you that why why you like cricket in your free time so then you will explain about benefits of cricket secondly you will give to the point answer don't go off the topic if you will go off the topic examiner will interrupt you and he will ask you a next question don't go off the topic be on the topic and just explain four to five sentences and most importantly connect your sentences this is very important thing that if you will not connect your sentences 
your coherence marks will be wasted so for maintaining coherence connect your sentences for example don't just explain separate sentences that examiner is asking you a question that what is your favorite game so you are answering that my favorite game is cricket i love cricket i play cricket in ground i play cricket with my friends so these are separate sentences and for these sentences you cannot go more than above more than 5 band so if you want 7 band so must connect your sentences that i love cricket cricket is my favorite game then you will connect it because because is the connection that you are connecting a sentence that cricket is my favorite game i can maintain my physical strength because of cricket then you can uh, start second sentence that apart from that apart from that or you can say that moreover or you can say that in addition cricket strengthens my body and it gives me energy and it is very helpful and beneficial for my legs as well as for my mental health these are my answers i am just going to explain to you it's not like that you will perform these types of answers your answers are on your own you will develop your own answers you will not take my answers currently i am just giving you a way that how you will go on how you will explain the answers that you will connect sentences you will explain just four to five sentences conclude your answer that first of all you you will explain form the question that what is your favorite game so you will start from my favorite game is this then blah 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 and in the final sentence you will say that for these instances for these instances cricket is my favorite game or you can say that for these purposes or you can say that that that's why or you can say that therefore cricket is my favorite game so this way you will conclude your answer uh, if you did not understand that what the examiner said so please ask the examiner that please will would you like to please repeat the question or say please repeat the question if uh, you did not understand the question and you just directly gave the answer so your answer will be wrong and your band will be go down so must keep in mind these types of things these are just straight forward things that i have just explained to you that first of all be confident this is the key of success in part 1 be confident maintain eye contact with examiner ask if you did not understand the question give to the point answer give direct and crispy answer and most importantly most importantly be natural what does it mean be natural that don't use complicated word of vocabulary use your own vocabulary that you are comfortable with that the vocabulary that you know already if you will try to use complicated words so you will just get stuck and your fluency your fluency will be disturbed 
your fluency and you will lose your marks in terms of fluency so just explain and just use your own english don't cram answer don't cram the answer because cramming is prohibited in exam and cramming will be uh, will be giving you just band not more than four band or three band because cramming is strictly prohibited in ielts anywhere or either it is in ielts writing or in ielts speaking so keep in mind these types of things and definitely you will be successful in ielts part 1 as well as in part 2 and as well as in part 3 and it will be done because of your confidence and when you will perform best and you will perform great in part 1 so definitely you will get courage you will get confidence so then you will perform as well in part 2 and part 3 my upcoming videos are about part 2 and part 3 uh in detail so stay tuned with me see you in next video goodbye